my name is Natalie Bungay and I'm from the British Pest Control Association. Today we're going to be talking about cockroaches. If you've been unlucky enough to experience cockroaches in your home or in your business, then you'll understand how important it is to deal with them. So today I think it would be really great if we talk a bit about cockroaches and then we can understand what you can do to actually deal with the problem. Cockroach is an insect and in the UK we have a few species of cockroach but the two main important ones that you may come across in your home or business is a German cockroach and an oriental cockroach. They do look quite different, you're probably more familiar with the image of an oriental cockroach, it's quite a bit bigger than the German one, it's normally a, a mahogany sort of brown or black colour sometimes, whereas the German cockroach is quite a bit smaller, I would say about um, a quarter of the size and also it's got a distinctive two black stripes down the back of its head so it's really important that these are distinguished because these two cockroaches do live in slightly different circumstances. The German cockroach prefers higher temperatures, higher humidities as well. A common name that we have for it is a steam fly, kind of gives an indication to that they like those warm humid places and you're likely to find a German cockroach behind appliances where you've got warm uh, motors and behind your oven maybe or your fridge where you've got the motor at the bottom, that's where usually they can be found. Whereas with the oriental cockroach, you can find them in similar areas, but they're a bit hardier to cold weather. You're possibly in the summer months in the UK, you could find them outside. But generally as a rule, the cockroaches in this country don't particularly like our weather externally, so they do live within buildings. An interesting fact actually about a cockroach's life cycle is that it is an incomplete metamorphosis. What happens is the adult cockroach produces an egg case, this is called an utheca. Once that utheca has developed its eggs within, it will then release them and they will become nymphs, which basically resemble the adult, but just in smaller form. These nymphs will then go through five or six stages of casting off their skin so that they can grow and become the size of the adult cockroach. And it's important to remember that the timescales within the development of a cockroach can really vary, but generally we're looking at between two and 12 weeks of each stage of their cycle. It's really important that if we discover an infestation of cockroaches in our home or business is that the issue is dealt with and that's for a few reasons but the most important one is public health because some of these species of cockroaches actually live, reside and come from sewers and drains they can bring with them a host of bacterias and diseases. Predominantly, the things we're familiar with might be Salmonella or E. coli, and if this is spread across work surfaces or where you might prepare your food, it can become a real problem. And if you're a business, specifically a food business, then there's certain bits of legislation like the uh, Food Hygiene Regulations and the Food Safety Act, and these bits of legislation, local authorities will make sure you are adhering to them. And the really important bit in there is that you don't have pests on your site. Every cockroach infestation needs to be dealt with and it's important to remember that they won't go away on their own and that's because of the great environment and the food that we provide them. The best way to stop a cockroach infestation from occurring or certainly growing in numbers is this housekeeping and hygiene. Make sure you get rid of all of that food debris that might be lying around. If you're a food business, it's really important that you prevent cockroaches. Legislation says that you need to, but also your moral responsibility to your staff and your customers. So the best way to do that is to monitor, and you can monitor with things that are non-toxic. It's just a sticky trap that you put in the corners of a building, in boiler rooms and things like that, just to pick up any cockroach that might happen to come in. The sooner you find a cockroach infestation, the easier it's gonna be to deal with it. If it has been established for some months, and possibly even years, some of them, then it can take some time to deal with cockroaches. But there is always a way that they can be dealt with and you can get rid of them. The best way to do this is first, you've got to identify exactly where they are. 
and this will be inspecting the areas where they're most likely to live. Now depending on the species of cockroach that you have is very important like I mentioned at the beginning but usually the most common one in domestic premises and also businesses is German cockroaches so pulling out your fridges and freezers checking behind there also under units maybe where your sink is opening the cupboards and just seeing if you can see any cockroaches harboring or living within the cracks and the crevices around those areas that are quite warm. Once we've identified where the cockroaches are then the work can start to actually get rid of these cockroaches. Once you've established the extent of your infestation then the real work will begin. Sticky traps and monitoring traps are not going to control an infestation, they're just for that initial identification stage. What will have to happen is we'll move on to the use of chemicals, insecticides. Now, most of these are not available on the amateur market, they're really only available to professional users. There's two main methods that's used for the chemicals as well. One of them is a, a food chemical, a food insecticide, and one of them is a contact insecticide. And any professional pest controller that you might employ will go through what both of these provide and what would be the safest and most effective for your premises. When you call a professional pest controller, the first thing you should expect is that they're going to do a thorough survey of your premises. They're going to try and find out where the cockroaches are, exactly where they're harbouring, and also the species, which is really important because they need to manage your expectations in terms of how long this problem is going to take to control. Once they've established the size and extent of your infestation, then a professional pest controller will take you through the steps of everything that they need to do to get rid of the infestation. You should always expect to receive some paperwork as well, which will detail everything they've done and any follow-up visits that they need to do following their initial treatments. Please be aware that any professional pest controller will not spray any chemicals in your property unless they find an actual infestation of insects. A professional pest controller will always have all of the equipment they need to deal with your infestation of cockroaches safely and effectively. To find a professional pest management company to deal with cockroaches, you can use the BPCA Find a Pest Controller tool. All you need to do is enter your postcode and you will find a list of pest controllers within your area and you can be certain they're all trained, trusted and audited by BPCA. For more information about cockroaches, please visit bpca.org.uk forward slash cockroaches. If you need a pest management company, then find a local member at bpca.org.uk forward slash find. Alternatively, you can call our 24-7 helpline on 01332 294 288.